you deserve to be happy. So I want you to be happy and I want you to be healthy. That's my motto. Like. <laughs>
I just think about my own happiness. <laughs> and that's because I literally love myself. I love everything about myself. And if I'm not happy, then what's the point? Okay? What is the point of life if you're not happy? Be happy. Like, find out what it is that's going to make you happy and do it. Okay? Whatever it is that makes you happy, you should do it. You shouldn't live a life looking for other people's approval. And I'm here to tell you that from experience. Everything I'm talking about today is from experience. I literally used to look for everyone else's approval except mine. And where did that get me? It got me nowhere except loving myself. I finally decided to love myself. And once I began to love myself, it just simply meant I allowed myself to heal. I allowed myself to feel. I allowed myself to cry. I literally went through a stage where I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't want to be bothered with anyone. I didn't date. I didn't have many friends. I s isolated myself solitude is where you grow that's where you find your power it doesn't feel good that's what people never tell you being alone doesn't feel good for anyone at first okay now once you get to that point where you really start to enjoy your own company you'll see how cool it is to be in your own energy to be with yourself and you'll realize you're really the coolest person in the world like why are you giving all these other people credit when you really was always the gem you were always the diamond you were always the stone you just needed to figure that out you had to figure that out by being by yourself by feeling those emotions by healing in those emotions but literally it doesn't happen overnight you have to go down in order to come up sometimes it's like a slingshot effect okay it doesn't happen overnight you have to commit to the healing in order to heal but once you commit that's literally the hardest part once you just say hey i'm dedicating my life to healing and feeling good now you understand what i'm saying everything about you changes losing weight for me wasn't just oh i'm losing weight to get on the scale and like see a different number no losing weight was that transformation that i had in my mind my physical self and my inner self literally transformed i became one with myself i became one with god i allowed myself to be transparent with god about what it is that i was dealing with you will not receive unless you ask period that's in the bible you're not gonna receive unless you ask period and sometimes you gotta stop allowing yourself to make decisions because you're looking around at everybody else and you wondering how it's gonna affect everybody if you make this decision for you why are you questioning that you should never question that if anything makes you happy you should do it i feel like self-love self-love is nothing but taking the time out to heal yourself and love yourself do things that you always wanted to do but you kind of put to the side because you wanted to you know what i'm saying impress other people or stop impressing other people or you may have stopped doing something because you felt like it was affecting someone else at the end of the day you got to learn how to be selfless you have to learn how to say, I love people for how they are, but I love myself for how I am. And I'm going to operate in my gift. I'm going to operate from my heart space. I'm going to be happy today. I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing healing because you deserve it. Period. It's no other reason. It's no other explanation. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be healed. You deserve to experience the life that you always knew you deserved. The life you always seen yourself having. You, you are worthy of it all. And I'm here to tell you that. And at the end of the day, it will get better. This is not the end of your story. You may be in a storm right now. You may not be having the best time of your life, but this is not the end of your chapter. You have got through worse. God will get you through this. You will grow through this. You will heal from this and you will become a better version of yourself never ever ever stop creating who you want to be can't nobody tell you who you have to be in this world you create who you want to be i create myself many times i recreated myself so hard to the point where nobody who i went to school with could tell me who i am because they don't know and what i'm telling you is you don't need to explain that to nobody find who you are self knowledge is the best knowledge self knowing yourself is priceless the feeling of knowing yourself is priceless nobody can take that from you when you know who you are stand on who you are be who you are be happy in who you are be confident in who you are speak with pride speak with confidence allow yourself to flow with life and stop fighting against it